Hi, good morning. Welcome to our pre-recorded class, Julius. This is the pre-kinder level class. Today is November 17, 2021. It is a Wednesday and we always say good morning. How about for the first part of our class, let's do the sight words. And last time we did the word got. Remember, G... O and the letter T, this is the word God. So how about we also use it in a sentence? G-O-T, that's the word God. We got to build a house. We got to build a house. This is the house that they got here. It's a big house. What else do we have for the word got? Our sentence G, O, and letter T got. She got her harp. She got her harp. And this is a harp, a musical instrument that you pluck. What else is our sentence for got? We have the letters G, O, T, got she got to wear a black hat she got to wear a black hat now how about we move on to another word and this time our word is has we have the letters h a and letter s to make the word has has. Let's use it in a sentence. This is H-A-S to make has. She has to pack her ham sandwiches. She has to pack her ham sandwiches. We have the word has. What's the next sentence for has? H-A-S, has. The carpenter has his hammer. The carpenter has his hammer. And what's our next sentence for has? H-A-S, has. My friend has a red heart. My friend has a red heart. Let's move on to the next part of our class. We're done with the sight words. Now, how about let's do a review. If you did your work from yesterday, we have the letter H and H has the sound. What are some things that begin with H? H is for the hand. We have the hand to help us feel and touch things. H is for the hook. We use the hook when we fish. H is for the hamburger, a yummy snack. H is for the hen, the hen is the mommy chicken. H is for the hot dog. And this one, it's also a yummy snack, just like the hamburger. H is for the horseshoe. And this one we put in the horse's hooves. It will protect the hooves of the horse. And we have H for the heart. The heart is a shape. H is for the harp, an instrument that you pluck. H is for the ham. We eat ham during Christmas. Sometimes you make ham sandwiches. And H is for the hat. You wear the hat on your head. So we have our H words here. Now, what else? We have to make a sentence for H. Let's match the sentences to its picture. So you can read with me in your seat there. H is for ham. This is the ham. H for ham. Another one. H is for hat. Let's make a line. This is the hat. And then the next. H is for hen. The mommy chicken is a hen. What are the other set of words here? We have H is for hit. When you use the bat to hit the ball, you have the baseball game here. See? What else? H is for hog. A hog is also a pig. And the last one, H is for hug. You show your love by hugging people. Hug. Now, what else do we have here? It's time for our lesson. And this time, 
let's try to remember the words that has the sound in the beginning and in the middle. So we have H for the ham, a food we eat during Christmas. We have letter H for the hat. We wear our hat on our head. We also have hen. The mommy chicken is a hen. Next, we have hit. The girl here is playing a game and you need to play the game with a blindfold to also hit the piñata. Hit. We also have hog. A hog is a pig. We also have hop. The rabbits know how to hop. And we have hot. When it's hot, the sun is out. We also have hug. You show your love for your mommy and daddy by hugging them. And we also have the hut. A hut is a small house. And sometimes you see it in the farms or in the far away places away from the city. Now, what else? We also have harp, an instrument. Hippo, an animal. Helicopter, a vehicle that flies up in the air. House, that's where you stay. That's your home. Heart, this one is a shape. We also have honey. That's the sweet food that we have. And it's made by the bees. We have hot dog, a snack. Horse, an animal. Hand, a part of your body. We also have H in the middle of these words. We have superhero, keyhole, lighthouse, doghouse, grasshopper, unhappy, seahorse, and the groundhog. The superhero, the one that saves the day. Keyhole, you put the key in the keyhole. Lighthouse, the lighthouse lights up during nighttime so that the ships and the boats know where the land is. Next one, we have the doghouse where the dog stays. Grasshopper, a kind of insect. Unhappy, when you're unhappy, you are also sad or lonely. Seahorse, an animal in the sea. And groundhog, a kind of animal that buries or lives underground. And just a reminder, there are no words that end with letter H. It's hard to find words that has the sound at the end. So the next part of our lesson is to sort the words that has the beginning H sound and the ones that has middle sound. So let's sort. Act. Act. Hat goes in the beginning. How about lighthouse? Light house. Light house. It goes in the middle. How about grasshopper? Grasshopper. Grasshopper. It goes in the middle. Next one, we have the hippo. 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 It's in the beginning. Helicopter. Helicopter. It goes in the beginning. Art. Art. It's in the beginning. Seahorse. Sea horse. Sea horse in the middle. And groundhog. Groundhog. Ground og. It's in the middle. So let's check the words that has the sound in the beginning. Hat, hippo, helicopter, and heart. The ones with the middle H sound. Lighthouse, grasshopper, seahorse, and groundhog. Let's move on to our friend. His name is Henry. Now, how about we check what are the things that go in letter H and what Henry has. Henry has a hut. This is a hut, a small house. We have our hut. Another one. Henry has a hat. He has a hat. He wears it, a hat. What else? Henry has a heart. He has a heart here. He carries a heart. Another one. Henry has a helicopter. H for the helicopter. What else does Henry have? 
Henry has a hen. Maybe he has a pet hen. And the last one we have. Henry has a hog. A hog is a kind of pig also, see? So these are some things that Henry has. Let's move on to our work time. It's time for work time and we will do the first worksheet. It's the word has. Don't forget to write your name at the top. I will write also my name and please trace and write the word has. So you have H-A-N-S, the word has. And then please write the word has also. Leave gaps or spaces in between. Next one, color the word has. And then... Circle the word has. Use your marker to circle the word has also there. And paste the pictures that go in each letter. H is for the heart. H is for, sorry, A is for axe. And S is for the snake. So you have the word has. If you're not yet done with the work, finish the work, play this video, and then move to the next one. We have the next work, has again, H-A-N-S, has. And then write the word has in the box. Then color the pictures that go in each letter, helicopter and hat, axe and apple, star and slide. And let's build the word has, H-A-N-S, has. If you're not yet done, pause the video, play it again once you're done. I will move to the next work and this time we will do the sound hound. So remember what are the words here that go in the beginning and middle. H is at the, sorry, the hat goes in the beginning. At, at, it's in the beginning. Next, grasshopper, grasshopper in the middle. Oh, hip, oh, hippo is in the beginning. Seahorse, sea or sea horse in the middle. Ground, oh, ground, oh, in the middle also. Heart, art, art in the beginning. Next, light, house, light, house in the middle. And helicopter, helicopter, helicopter in the beginning. So if you're done with the work, let's move to the next page. If not yet, pause the video. Play it again once you're done. I have here the next worksheet. This time, we will trace and write the words. So please trace first the sentence for Henry. Henry has a right number one hut. H-U-T, hut. And in the box, you have to draw your hut. Now, sometimes the hut looks like this. It's a small house. A small house. And then try to draw a door and a window. The roof. And then you add the ladder. That's the hut. You have hut. Number two, let's move to the next one. Two is the hog. H-O-G, hog. I will draw the hog. The hog is the pig. So I have here the hog. Try to add a curly tail. That's a hog. Number three is the hat. H-A-T, hat. Draw an upside down cup. And then the brim. The one that is the wide part of your hat. That's the hat. And then for number four, we have heart. H-E-A-R-T, heart. 
draw your heart like this. So we have all our H words. And if you're not yet done, pause the video. Play it again once you're done. We will move to the next page. And this time, it's your booklet. Remember to trace and write the letter H first. Don't forget to trace your name. So I have here Teacher Bell. Please color your pictures. The first one is that your ham. Let's color the ham. H is for the ham. Another one is that your hat. Let's color our hat. That's what you wear on your head. That's the hat. Next, is that your hen? This is the hen. See, the mommy chicken is called a hen. So these are some words that has the sound. I will move to the next work. If you're not yet done, finish first your work. Next, we have, is that your hog? The hog is also a pig. Let's color the hog. H for the hog. Is that your hog? Next one, is that your hut? That's a hut. The hut is a small house. Hut. Color your hut. Okay, we have our hut. So if you're not yet done, pause the video. Play it again once you're done. I will move to the next work. And this time, it is the sentence. You have to read first. Is that your ham? Cut the words and paste them and write. Is that your ham? And add a question mark at the end. Let's color. We have H for the ham. H is for ham. Next one, I will move to the next page. Finish first your work if you're not yet done. The next is that your hat. Please space, is that your hat? And then write the sentence. Remember to write properly. Leave spaces so that you can still see and read your words. There should be gaps in between. And remember, we will end with a question mark because our sentence is a question. Is that your hat? And then color the picture of your hat. How about the next one? Let's read. Is that your hen? Paste the letters, the words, is that your hen? Write the sentence. Is that your hen? Let's add a question mark and let's color our hen. Then how about for the next work, if you're not yet done, pause the video, play it again once you're done. I am moving to the next one. It's time to trace and write the letter H. Remember to leave spaces in between so that you can still see your letters. So we have our letter H. If you're done, let's move to the next part. If not yet, finish first. Play this video again once you're done. Now, if you're done, we will move to giving you the sticker friend, Julius. I already placed you in tracker, see? Please finish first your work for today. And I hope I get to see you tomorrow also. Please finish your work. Bye-bye.